Step by Step Math Series presents Completing the Square, Part 4. What we're going to do now, this is going to be a very long process, um, but well, well, well worth it. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the general form of a quadratic equation and we're going to somehow through completing the square create the quadratic formula which is very very well known to all algebra students okay so the first thing we should do is subtract C on both sides now if you watch the uh, completing the square part 2 you will see very similar steps and you'll be surprised that um, you don't need numbers um, to accomplish certain things in math. And in this case, you'll see that that's very true. Okay, so we subtract C on both sides. Uh, and remember, at the beginning, it has to be the quadratic, the linear, the constant, and then uh, equals and zeros. So I move the constant over and there is an a value here which could be a negative or four or two so we have to factor it so we're going to factor out an a and the trick here is to say b over a x equals negative c if you remember just like when there was a two here you know you put a two here and they cancel out so a times b over a gives you b and don't forget the x all right um then we took b over a and we divided by two and we square it which is really b over a divided by two this division is that division here uh, square and that's really b over a times one half square which is really um, b over 2a square wow and continuing continuing with this math we get b square over 4a square b square and then 2a times 2a is 4a square. All right, so that's going to be a x square plus b over a x plus b square over 4a square equals negative c. We're going to add something here. What's well, going to be b square over 4a, 4a square times a. And let me get another sheet over here. Let's do that here. Um, that's going to be B square over 4A square times A over 1. They cancel. And it gives you B square over for a so go over here so this is plus b square over 4 a so a times b square over 4 a square the a's cancel out and that's what you get all right uh, just like when there was a 2 here or a negative we had to divide by 2 or divide by a negative number but before we do that we gotta make sure we get this cleared out so we're going to focus on this section right here so I'm gonna get that other board here let me work on that so it's going to be negative C plus B square over 4a very important 
to keep track of all these letters. So here we're going to put a 1 times 4a over 4a. Let's put times here again. And what we need to do is we need to multiply this out. So that's going to be negative 4ac. Uh, coming out a little bit there. 4a times 1 is 4a plus b squared over 4a. And we can rearrange this a little bit. b squared minus 4ac, you've heard that before, over 4a. So we combine that together very nicely. I'll separate these right here. Okay, so a x, this is a perfect square trinomial, and so we can say plus b over 2a. Great thing when you know the tricks and the steps. Equals b square minus 4ac divided by 4a. Okay. And we're going to get rid of this a. And like I said before, we can divide by a um, and then divide by a over here. But what I'm going to do is just to make it easier on us, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by 1 over a. And that cancels out the a's times 1 over a. And then the math is a little easier. And don't forget the square here. Forgot that. Okay, so it's going to be x plus b over 2a square equals b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square. Not bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to use the other board here. So we can continue on with this. Okay. So let's see now. Um, what we need to do is we need to take the square root on both sides. X plus b over 2a square equals the square root of b minus b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square and this right here we just have x plus b over 2a and we don't need the parentheses anymore that's gone Okay, and we got equals, the top, we can't do anything on the top, b squared minus 4ac, but the bottom, the square root of 4a squared is 2a, so that's great, and remember, we're dealing with quadratics, so we need a plus minus right here. Now we need to move this fraction over, so I can have so I can solve for x, and look at that, x is, there's only one x left, and that's what we're doing, we're solving for x. So we're subtracting b over 2a, we're subtracting b over 2a. I'm going to rewrite this equals, I'm going to put this one over here, negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Notice that they have the same denominator. So, x equals negative b, that's where that negative b comes from, plus or minus, plus or minus, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Wow! So, that's the quadratic formula. Not bad for completing the square.